Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you here today from UC Davis. I'm here with plant pathologist Akif Eskalin to talk about sudden grapevine collapse. It's something that growers have been concerned about, primarily in the Lodi area, but uh, apparently it has been identified and spread uh, throughout California in different areas. I wanted to talk with Akif exactly where we're seeing this, this uh, disease complex and what it is and what growers can do about it. So um, sudden vine collapse is a disease complex that uh, we have been dealing with it for last 10 years. Uh, the reason it is the disease complex is that the, it is not causing by single uh, microorganism or pathogen. It is a complex of the pathogen. Um, so originally we uh, found that this disease is mostly in uh, Lodi, uh, grapevine growing areas. Uh, later on, we found out that uh, actually this disease is more widespread than the uh, only northern part of the Sacramento Valley. So let me tell you a little bit about the disease. So it's a disease complex. It's caused by combination of the, the viral infection uh, plus uh, grapevine trunk diseases. The way that it works is that the virus specifically leaf roll tree viruses could uh, infect the grapevine, uh, specifically the grapevine on freedom rootstock. That caused a kind of girdling at the graft union that prevents for plant to submit or send sugar or starch to the roots. Over time, that depletion of the starch could cause lack of the feeder roots that the plant could produce. So every year, every year, the plants start depleting that kind of feeder roots and then get weaker and weaker and weaker. Of course, grapevine trunk diseases, as, a, as, a, as a, another complex of the fungal diseases, caused by multiple fungal pathogens. They are all around. They can produce their spores and then land on the, on the grapevine whenever the grapevine is vulnerable. When the grapevine is stressed or are predisposed by other diseases like the uh, sudden vine collapse, they can contaminate and kill the plant within a short time. So in the middle of the summer, so when the plant is um, uh, infested already with the leaf roll tree viruses causing the girdling and then grapevine trunk disease comes and then all together could kill the plant within a short time in the middle of the summer when the temperature is so high. So this is a disease complex that, that we are working with. So we originally, as I mentioned to you, that we thought that it's only in the Lodi area. Later on, we also found out that it's on the coastal grapevine growing areas, including San Luis Obispo, uh, Monterey, areas. And then um, our survey studies also showed that the it also goes into the Central Valley, uh, Madera, Fresno, even the Kern counties, which means since this pathogen is associated with the specific the freedom rootstock, so wherever the freedom rootstock has been grown, so and also the, the infested with the leaf roll tree, wire, leaf roll tree viruses, uh, that could be the subject to have a sudden vine collapse. So I also want to mention that the most of the viral diseases, specifically leaf roll tree viruses, is vectored uh, by the mealybug. So it's the mealybug, also the species that's, that's also invasive uh, or the, to the California, originally came from the Israel uh, in 2000. Um, 2000, 2001. So that's the complex of the, of the disease. Uh, currently, we are collaborating with uh, virologists, epidemiologists, I myself, mycologists, collaborating to figure out or find out uh, what our growers uh, could do to control or reduce the damage of the this sudden vine collapse. But at this point, while our research is continue, I would also recommend that if you are replanting new vines, we would recommend you to stay away, away from the uh, freedom rootstock if your area is subject to the mealybug infestation. So if you have the mealybug uh, virus and then combination of the freedom rootstock, uh, there is no way that you can get away from this disease. It's going to come and then uh, and, uh, cause damage in your vineyard.
Thank you, Akif. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.